Dear Ada Mall, aka the alien outside my bedroom window. How are you, mule sausage? How is life up there treating you? How are the repairs to your spaceship going after you crashed it into the side of the Andes? I've heard that the Pentagon has finally acknowledged the air superiority of your flying sources over that wet flatulence of an aeroplane that is the F-35. Good for you. The reason I am writing you this missive is that I have a few words of advice for you to take. As you know, I have spent a lifetime giving men from all walks of life valuable life advice. Mainly as to why all of you invade the earth wearing little to no clothing. In every picture I've ever seen of your beastly kind, you are naked from head to toe. In fact, your nakedness is so shamefully infamous that it has been repeated in our popular media as well, to the extent that your kind is almost invariably nude in our motion pictures. Surely, when you visit somewhere, you are expected to respect the societal norms, and the norm on this planet is not to expose your genitalia to the members of the public. I am sick and tired of seeing your genitals pressed against my bedroom window, as the glass fogs up from your breath. Please put on some clothes. Plus, as you might know, I have a young unmarried daughter. I would appreciate it if you would stop displaying your nudity to her. Likewise, I do not stand you and your kind indecently exposing yourselves to every other man, woman and child in the Empire. I remember when the Queen of Shebediah visited the country in 1895. She decided to skinny dip in the English Channel. A member of the public was so incensed by her nakedness, he decided to fill her backside with birdshot. This has sparked such an intense diplomatic incident, we had to send a gunboat over and massacre the whole race. Though I have to admit your unusual <coughs> members make you popular with Japanese pornographic animators. Plus, it is not only a matter of public decency and morals, there is also the question of the elements. We humans do not go out of our homes for five steps without being appropriately clothed for the elements. When we go to an environment whose temperature, humidity or atmospheric conditions are significantly different from ours, we dress more heavily or more lightly as the situation demands. This is because our thin skins are not meant to take harsh sunlight, cold snow or vast voids and I do not suppose alien skin is any different. My good friend Dartmoor, whom I know from the days of the mutiny, claims to have shot one of your kind dead with a four-bore, and if a four-bore can penetrate your hide and render you dead, I am sure you need to dress protectively when exposed to atmospheres other than your own. So please dress appropriately and kindly refrain from peeking through my window while I dress, sleep or shower. With regards, Sir William Henry Walter Wallace von Moltke.